Welcome to a new video which is about finding limits for a constant divided by x when x goes to infinity and dividing a constant by x when x goes to zero from right side or left side. I will explain the rules applied to solve such questions and I will solve instructive and remarkable questions. If this is your first time here and if you want to support this channel don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bell to turn on the notifications to be aware of the upcoming videos. We have a lot to cover so let's get started. Before starting solving questions, guys, I just want to go over the rules that we have here. If you look at the first one, C means constant, okay? So if you divide any constant by X, when X goes to infinity, the result is zero. For example, let's say constant is four, okay? So four divided by X. Let's say when X is 100, then we have 0 0.04, guys. When, this is X, by the way. When you increase that number, let's make it 1,000. So it's going to be four divided by 1000 and we're going to have 0.004 and as you can see the limit decreases from 0.04 to 0.004 and if you keep going let's say you divide 4 by 10,000 then we're going to have 0. Point, okay 10,000 has four zeros so I'm going to go four times to the right one two three four so as you can see the number is decreasing decreasing and decreasing it doesn't matter if C is a positive or negative. Let's say it's negative. It doesn't matter because still it's going to be going to the zero. That's why in this case the result is always zero, guys. And C is a real number. That means it doesn't matter whether it's a positive real number or a negative real number. And if you look at number two, it says limit of C of X when X goes to zero from the left. In this case, suppose that C is a positive number. The same thing is here. Okay, at this time, let's say C is 1, 1 divided by, and right now our X is going to go to 0 from the right. So let's say right now we have 0 0.1. The answer is going to be 10. And the next time, if you divide 1 by 0 0.01, because remember we are approaching, let's say this is the coordinate system, and this is 1, this is 0. So we are approaching from the right side, okay? In this case, we're going to have 100. And if you divide 1 by 0 0.001, then it's going to be 1,000. As you can see, it was 10 and now it became 100 and now it became 1,000 and it goes to infinity. That is why it goes to infinity. And if you approach 0 from the left side, because the left side, you know, this is 0. The le on the left, the numbers are negative, right? Because here we have negative 1. So... The numbers will be approaching from the negative side. That is why we have negative infinity in this case also. And let's take a look at examples. We have an example and there are five questions actually. And we will take a look at each question. In A, it says limit of 4 divided by x minus 2 when x goes to 2 from the right side. Okay. So if you put 2 instead of x here, and it's going to be 4 divided by 0, right? But it's going to be from the right side because x is approaching 2 from the right side so like 2.01 and if you subtract 2 from 2.01 then it's going to be a positive number so that is why a constant divided by a positive number so this is the case that we have here so this is number two the limit is going to go to positive infinity if you look at b it is same so let's just change it let's say this is negative guys so limit when x goes to 2 from the left side. I just change it. So in this case, think x like 1.99. If you put 1.99 instead of x, and as you can see, the denominator is going to be negative number. So let me write b here. b is going to be like 4 divided by 0 from the left side. Okay. So because in the denominator, we're going to have something very close, which is a negative number. That is why the result of this is going to be a negative infinity. I didn't write down the limit parts anyway. So this case is also something look like number 3. If you look at C, limit when x goes to 2, the same question, guys. And in this case, because 2 is a critical point, which makes the denominator, okay, 0, I have to look at the left limit and the right limit. And as you can see, left limit is not equal to the right limit, right? Because... In A, we found the right limit as positive infinity. In B, we found the left limit as negative infinity. Because left limit is not equal to the right limit, that means there is no limit in C, guys. And now let's take a look at D. 
in D, we have 2x minus 9 divided by 2x minus 6 when x goes to 3 from the right side. Okay, if you put 3 instead of x, let's see what we're going to have. It's going to be 2 times 3 minus 9 divided by 2 times 3 from the right side minus 6. I know in math there is nothing like that, okay? <laughs> But I just want to explain the situation in this way. As you can see, the numerator is negative, right? Because 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 9 is negative 3. So it's going to be negative 3 divided by, because we are approaching 3 from the right side, okay? The denominator is positive. So it's going to be 0 from the right side, okay? We are approaching 0 from the right side. If there would be positive 3 divided by 0 plus, then my answer was going to be positive infinity. But because in the numerator, the number is negative number, then the result of this limit is negative infinity, guys. And in E, as you can see, again, 5 is a critical point. So I have to look at the limit from the left and from the right side again. Okay, if you put 5 instead of x in the numerator, I'm going to have 15 plus 1, 16. So I'm going to have 16 divided by x minus 5 limit when x goes to 5 guys and now if x approaches 5 from the right side okay so it's going to be 16 divided by 0 plus and that would be positive infinity but if x approaches 5 from the left side this part is going to be something like 0 left then it's going to be negative infinity guys because negative infinity is not equal to the positive infinity that means in E also, there is no limit, guys. And let's take a look at the next question. Okay, guys, this is our last question in this video. And it says find the following limits. And as you can see, in A, x goes to infinity as well. But here, the number that we have is 3 divided by 4. And there is an x as an exponent to that fraction. In such cases, guys, let me show you. If x is 1, then the result is going to be, of course, 3 divided by 4, right? When x is 2, then we're going to have 3 divided by 4 squared, which is 3 divided by 4 times 3 divided by 4. And in that case, that would be 9 divided by 16, guys. And in the first case, that would be, if you extend it by 25, then we're going to have, it's going to be 0 0.75. And 9 divided by 16 is, I just checked it from calculator. And in this case, the result is 0 0.56, and it goes like that. Actually, there is also 25. If you take x as 4, then we're going to have 3 divided by 4 squared, I mean, to the power of 4. In this case, we're going to have, again, I just checked it from a calculator, and the result is 0 0.3164, and it goes like that. So as you can see, when x was 1, this is what we got. When x is 2, this is what we get. When x is 4, this is what we get. So, as you can see, it's going down. When you increase x, okay, when x goes to infinity, then 3 divided by 4 to the power of x is going to 0, guys. So, we can say that in this case, the limit is 0, guys. Actually, we can say that if this number is less than 1, and if this number as a power goes to infinity, then the result always is going to be 0, guys. And there is a similar case also here in B. When x goes to infinity, limit of 5 divided by 4 to the power of x. As you can see, this number, which is 5 divided by 4, is greater than 1. So if this part is greater than 1, let's say something greater than 1, okay? And if you take x power of this number, suppose there is a number, okay? When x goes to infinity, the result is infinity, guys, from the similar logic. So we can say that in B, the limit is positive infinity, guys. I might increase the number of questions, but I think basically you just got the idea in this topic. And again, when you divide any constant by x, and when x goes to infinity, always the result is zero, guys. It doesn't matter if that constant is positive or negative. And again, when you divide a positive constant by x, when x goes to zero from the right side, because right side of the zero is positive, and the result of the limit is going to be positive infinity. But if you divide a constant, a positive constant, by x, and when x goes to zero from the left, because the left side of the x is negative, in this case, that is the reason that the result is negative infinity, guys. And if you have any questions, you can put them in the comment section below. 
Thank you for watching and hopefully see you in the upcoming videos.